Yes, it is Manitoba time, a time to see some of the amazing things that are waiting for you and the amazing reasons to be a tourist in your own province. Yay. And we got Lindsay Egan joining us again from Travel Manitoba. This time, uh, Manitowabi Festival. Yes. For anyone who has not been, uh, let's talk about first off what Manitowabi is yeah. and then the big changes. Yes, Manitowabi is an amazing Aboriginal cultural festival here in our province. Uh, you get to see some of the great traditions, you get to hear some great music, and you get to see some amazing dancers. Uh, the big change this year is previous years, it was held in November. Right. So the cold may have scared a few people off from coming out of their houses and coming to the festival, but this year it's in August, August 16th to 21st. So great change, everyone's really excited about that. Yeah, multiple locations uh, throughout the city as yep. far as MTS goes and here at the Forks. And yep. a really an opportunity, an inclusive opportunity for everybody to celebrate Absolutely, Aboriginal culture. Absolutely, yeah. It kicks off on the 16th here at the Forks actually with their welcoming ceremony. So they have the lighting of the fire, the uh, traditional dances, really great kickoff to the festival. Uh, the 17th, they have a new event uh, that they've started this year called Gospel Jamboree. Uh, prepare yourself for an amazing afternoon of gospel music performed by artists that are nominated for the Aboriginal People's Choice Music Awards. Okay. It's going to take place in an old historic downtown church here in Winnipeg, and it's bound to be a new favorite among festival goers this year. Sounds like it'll be an instant hit. Absolutely. Okay, then the following day we actually get the Aboriginal People's Choice Awards. Absolutely. At the MTS Centre, tickets are available at Ticketmaster.ca. Uh, artists from across Canada, the U.S. and abroad will be gathering here for the unveiling of the winners of all the different musical categories such as the blues, rock and country. Some amazing performances by uh, artists you've probably seen before. There's Don Romero, he'll Our be there. Don, yeah. uh, and uh, some great entertainment and a fun night out. It's a really classy event. Red yeah, it carpet is, and all. It is, a big, it is a big show and a yeah. great opportunity to recognize talented people in uh, several different categories. Yes, absolutely. Okay, what's up next after that? Uh, up next, we have a youth cultural camp happening at the Forks on the 19th. A uh, great way to bring kids of all different cultures together for an interactive, hands-on learning experience uh, where you'll learn some of the traditional teachings, there'll be some music involvement, and they're at also having a walk, rock your mock walk. Rock your mock walk. Rock your mock walk. So <laughs> promote okay. physical activity among the kids. And I'm assuming moccasins are involved. Gotcha, mock, gotcha. Yes. Okay, then we get and into then, the 20th? Yep, closing it off 20th to 21st is the competitive powwow at the MTS Center and uh, Indigenous Trade Show and Marketplace. The whole concourse at the MTS Center is filled with booths of amazing handmade products, thing you can, things you can uh, taste, things you can buy. You probably can see some of the most beautiful handmade goods there that you'll ever see. Moccasins, jackets, gloves, other amazing crafts. No will. question to get grab some of the uh, great work of artisans, but let's talk about the competitive powwow because if you were to choose one thing to go to for... I would say do the powwow for sure. Canada's largest powwow okay. uh, with over 600 dancers and drumming groups. It is uh, such a spectacular, the colors, the sounds, the energy, seeing people just the whole floor of the uh, arena just covered with people dancing and singing and the music. And these costumes that they wear right. are amazing. Bells, colors, sparkles, <laughs> like they're just amazing. I, I Vegas show yeah. coming right here to Winnipeg. That's uh, exactly what it reminds me of. The, it's, it's all the spectacle and all the light with a, re with a rich, uh, long tradition uh, yeah. for our province and behind. Yeah, absolutely. If you want to see that again or you want all the information, you want to hit breakfasttelevision.ca, Manitowabi. Again, coming up in August as opposed to yes. November. All the details are on the website. Going to take a break. Plenty still to come today on BT.